Hey, welcome back to Bear Squid. In this video, I want to do a quick tutorial on how to use WebEx Meet uh, to do video conferencing and really continue online uh, learning, to do distance learning. Um, and this will help uh, maybe parents, students, colleagues, teachers, you and me on how we can continue basically creating a community uh, and making sure everyone is safe and well. Um, don't overburden yourself. Uh, don't, you know, don't do too much to stress yourself out. It's a time where we need to be a calm um, and, and, and really, you know, to continue to commit to that community feeling. Uh, anyway, let's just get on to the tutorial. Um, I'm going to be using the computer to uh, start the, the web meeting uh, using the web camera and then I'm going to in conjunction uh, simultaneously use the iPad so we can annotate on our notes so that students or teachers and colleagues and parents can see what we're doing and how we're doing it. So basically providing as much as a real um, live interaction for our students. Okay, so without further ado, let's get into the application. I right, step one, go to um, WebEx, uh, Cisco WebEx, web, webex.com, okay? You'll find it at webex.com and download, or you can start for free. Uh, Zoom is the same, you can start, you can do, do Zoom as well. Um, and just download the application. Now, once you've downloaded the application, okay, start the desktop app, because the desktop app has a few more features um, compared to a few more settings uh, that you can change and manipulate. So anyway, here we are. I'm gonna start uh, a meeting, okay? And this meeting is gonna start just using uh, my headphones. So make sure you plug in your earphones because what we're gonna do in this tutorial is we're gonna connect it to the Mac and the iPad at the same time so that we can annotate on our, um, on our notes. So I'm happy with this video preview. Uh, I've connected in my earphones and I'm good to go. So I'm just gonna start the meeting. Now once the meeting's started, there's this little icon here, information icon. And if you haven't scheduled this meeting, then what you can do is you can send out um, the meeting number so other participants can join the meeting. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna join on my iPad, okay? Um, and then you'll see, let me put this to one side now. Bef before you join on the iPad, also connect a set of headphones. I'm just gonna mimic this cable as a set of headphones. I'll plug this in. Okay, and I wanna, I'm gonna connect on my iPad as well, yeah? So here we go, we've got to make sure if it's an iOS device or an Android device, okay, that you download the associated app from the Play Store or the App Store. Now I've already downloaded the app, it's called WebEx Meet. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna to try to uh, join the same meeting, okay? So now uh, I'm, I'm on both applications. So now from my iPad, what I want to do is I want to start um, broadcasting my screen from here. Look, if I click it, I'll go to the, sh sorry, my finger's in the way. I'm going to go to um, this icon here. That's the share icon. Okay, so if I click that, it says share screen. So if I share the screen and it wants to screen broadcast using the WebEx. So I'm going to say, yeah, let's start that. So now what's going to happen is in three, two, one, that screen is now going to share onto um, my web meeting, okay? And I can actually go to any application. For example, I can go to uh, GoodNotes. We're using GoodNotes here. Um, and we're dealing with um, straight line graphs, okay? So all the participants, whether the parents or students or colleagues, teachers, whoever you sent it to, this now, the whatever application you're using to annotate or share your lesson with, they will see it as well as the little video conference, um, the, the web, the web camera. So they'll see you on the web camera. The benefit of doing it like this is now on the Mac, on the PC, you can go to um, messages and you can still see the chat on the list. Okay, uh, you could go to participants and you can interact with participants as well. Also, if, let me just get this back into, into focus here. Is that in focus? That should be all right. So on the top, can you see where it says participants? Okay, you can go there and you can like mute everyone. 
Um, now, if this isn't working, you can't mute everyone. Let me just bring it close. I just want you to see this, okay? Uh, one second, let me just get the focus right. Here we go. So, it, if you see, oh, look, I can't mute everyone. Well, there's no one here to mute anyone cause, anyway because there isn't anyone who joined my, uh, my web meeting. However, look, because I've logged onto my iPad and my computer or my Mac, uh, the iPads claimed the host responsibility. So I can go back down here, I can say reclaim host rights. So now as a host, I can go to participants, I can mute everyone if anyone was on there, okay? Um, and so it's it's very powerful using it in this uh, configuration, using uh, a PC, Windows PC or a Mac, okay? And then in conjunction with a touchscreen device. Now. All phones nowadays are pretty much touchscreen, so you could log in with your phone, but you know, applications are limited on your phone. Here on the iPad, we use this uh, in, in the classroom anyway, using applications such as you know, Good Notes or Notability or um, what is that? Explain everything or teach everything. There's so many applications that you can use to share with students. Um, you know, your process and your and your working out and stuff, and because you've got a stylus with it you know, you can, uh, um, you know, calculate stuff and whatnot. As always, I hope you found that uh, helpful. If you have any questions, then do comment in the section below. I'm sure myself or someone in the community can um, help out with uh, any troubleshooting. As always, thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.